we are going to do is we are actually going to do a real video of the fake Makita. When I first got this, I did a versus video against the, the real Makita versus fake Makita. And most of the time what I was doing is making fun of that it was a fake Makita. But I actually want to do a real video of this now and that's what we're going to do today. Now, I do want to use a 2 amp hour battery and a 5 amp hour battery. And I do want to see if there is a big difference between these two when it comes to this tool. Uh, for this video, it's going to be different. I can't read you the specs because there is none on the tool. I'm actually going to put the specs up right now. And I'll just have that up while I talk. So this is actually, this tool cost me $46. That's with shipping. And, uh, and yeah, we are actually going to test this out and see what this could actually do. Now, this is not going to be a versus video because I just, I want to do a real video of the fake Makita. So I actually want to try this out and give it a real review instead of just make fun of it. Alrighty, so this ring does not glow like the Makita does. This is just a, it's a for vi a cosmetic only. That does not glow. All right, so there are a couple of there are a couple of speed settings on this one. It does say sm it goes just from small, which I completely made fun of, fun of this in the last video. It goes from small to large, so pretty much speed one to speed, so pretty much high to low. All right, so there are, let's see if I could read that. That is small, that's small precision. There we go. So it has to be in forward for you to get the settings. Turn it back on. So small, large, or low and high. So there's three bars there, but it actually only has two speed settings, low and high. And then uh, they do have precision and reverse. Or nothing, or it just does regular reverse. Let's uh, give this a test with oh, a two amp hour battery and a five amp hour battery. Let's see what this can actually do. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. Alrighty, so this is a complete knockoff off of the Makita impact wrench. All right, so as you can see, it's the same body. So, but they put a quarter inch hex collet on there. So we, we are obviously gonna use quarter inch collet bits. Let's start off small first, then work our way up. First, darn it. First I wanna see what the, if there's a difference between a two amp hour and a five amp hour when it comes to just driving in the timber lock. It is on, it's on high. I'd say right here is good. We're gonna do this line right here. All right, so ready? Oh, sorry, battery is full. All right, so ready, go. time now quickly let's switch over from the two to five and let's see if there is a difference battery is full oh that's that's bent that's garbage i gotta throw that timber lock out that one's majorly bent all right right here is good all right so ready go Time. I could definitely tell that there is an, uh, an extra noise in the motor with using the five amp hour battery. Oh, I got stuck. Got to tap it in reverse. There we go. I just want to make sure it's not stuck. Alrighty, so let's uh, take it out with the two amp hour. Uh, the two amp hour is going to take out what the five amp hour put in and vice versa. All right, so ready? Go. time you know when it comes to the impacts per minute the impacts the impacts are pretty loud but they're not like really loud all right five amp hours gonna take out the two amp hours uh timber lock all right so ready oh sorry single led light underneath the the housing for the anvil all right so ready go 
time. Well, there is, a, I can tell that there is a difference between a five amp hour and a two amp hour in this tool as well. And remember, this only costs a $46 for the tool. The collet does feel cheap. The collet feels really cheap. Is the collet push in? I don't think so. Nope, the collet, you, you need to adjust the collet for it to go in. All right, let's whip out the two amp hour. Next, let's do a specs. We'll do it right here. We're gonna do it on the same line this time. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's whip out the five amp hour. Let's do a specs right here. All right, so ready? A little bit more, maybe. There we go. All right, ready? Go. Time. Like I said, there is a big difference in the sound when it comes to the motor. All right, so let's take out the two amp hour specs first. Ready? Go. Time. All right, so let's take out the five amp hour. All right, so ready? Go. Time, not too shabby. It, it's not doing a bad job. I can't believe when I first got this tool, I, I just made, flat out made fun of it. But it's at, for a $46 impact driver, it's actually not doing that bad. It's actually not doing that bad at all. All right, so we're gonna do, uh, after, after this test, we're gonna do some uh, half inch lags. But uh, we're, we, for this, we're gonna do the six inch by eighth inch lag. And next we'll go into the bigger, the bigger ones. All right, so we're gonna do the two amp hour first. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Oh, gotta play a balancing act. Ready, go. Time. What's that, what's he barking at? Stop barking, Poppy. All right, so let's use the five amp hour battery next. Put it right next to it, about right there. All right, so ready, go. Time, it did it, it did it. All right, so the two amp hour is gonna take out the five amp hours and vice versa. All right, ready, go. Time. All right, the five amp hour is taking off the two amp hour. All right, so ready, go. Time. And so far, it's actually it's actually impressing me. Like I said, I can't believe I made fun of this as hard as I did in the previous in a video I uploaded like eight nine months ago. It's actually not bad, but we can't judge it based on that. Next, we are gonna do, uh, battery is still full. So next we are gonna do the big lags and see how, how well this actually handles. No pre-drill, no pre-drill at all. So right here, actually we're gonna do it right here. All right, so ready, go. Time. It did it. It did it. All right, let's whip out the five amp hour battery. Let's see what the time difference is. Right here is good. 
All right, so ready? Go. Time. It did it. Let's use the two amp hour battery and take it out. The two amp hour is going to take out the five amp hours lag. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all, actually. All right, so ready? Go. Time. It, it did it. It did it. All right, now this is going to be a test against two versus five. I just want to see if this could drive in an eight inch lag. No, we'll do six. We'll do a six inch lag. Let's see if it's able to do it. I'll be amazed if it can. I'll be amazed if it can. All right, so ready? Go. It might not be able to do it. Let's continue. It did it. It did it. Let's do a quick temperature reading on this. 96, 97, 98, 98 degrees. It's still cold. It's still a cold tool. Not okay. I got to admit it, it. I completely messed up when I first got this. It's actually a decent tool for $46. It actually is a decent tool. All right, so let's take it out. Ready? Go. Time. It did it. Let's do the final temperature reading. That's not bad. 102, 98, 104. Yep, that jumped up six degrees for that one task. But it, it didn't do too bad of a job. This is actually worthy of versus videos. I I like I, I apologize to the people that uh, my subscribers that saw this and I completely judged it before I even like did an actual test on it. And I was just making fun of it for it for you know copying Makita, but it actually did a good it actually did a good job. It actually that, that that blows my mind that it actually did these that it did these lags. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Do I recommend you buy this? Yes, I do. You can't go wrong for forty six dollars. You cannot go wrong for forty six dollars at all. And just so you guys know, both of the batteries are still full after that test. They're still full. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to do this test video really quick to see on how it actually is. And I'm actually going to be using this a lot more in my versus videos. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next time.